everyone. Thank you. I didn't get the last slide, but I got the last slide. Yeah. Oh, I was really, I was waiting for Where's my line? <laughs> there it was at the end, so I got there. Yeah. So I, I think that we're drawing to an end. I did want to, um, very lucky to have our poet laureate here today. I don't know if uh, Candice, you, you had anything you'd like to, to read, or you on the open mic today? Nobody asked. Oh, well, I'm asking you how. the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't get away from me. <laughs> it's not too late. So would you like to go on? Um, finish up today with a lot of the great. Yes, you bad girl. This is where I turn the camera off. Yeah, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the, actually, I'll do the Wait For Me Daddy poem that I did yesterday at the uh, luncheon where everybody kind of got together <coughs> in the Anvil Center. And uh, it was uh, kind of nice to do this. I didn't enter any of the stuff because I thought it wouldn't be right. And so I, I got to do it once. Now I'll do it a second time. Wait For Me Daddy. <laughs> In a heartbeat, so near, yet so far, the separation once impending, becoming reality. He's going away. The line of soldiers march down the street toward a foreign land. Wait for me, Daddy. Don't go. Too young to understand the meaning of war. He stretches out his tiny fingers to grasp his daddy's hand, to hold on tight, to make him stay. Don't go, daddy. Wait for me, daddy. In a heartbeat, so near, yet so far. His daddy fades from view. He's gone away.